So then, we are back with a more understanding from the Renewed Covenant, from the Aramaic English translation of the word. This translation is from the original documents of the Hebrews of old, from the prophets of Israel, given as then bearings for us to understand the time of the end. And then speaking of Yohanan, when he was there in the mainland receiving the holy visions, he spoke of the nations of the end and what it would be. He spoke of the great war coming yet. And most importantly, he made references of the Torah as he was explaining those visions. Obviously, we find the Messiah explaining those nations and the relationship amongst them because as we understand there is 90% of the entire teaching of the ministry of the Messiah because we find 490 days of ministry and only 10% of content because then we have to understand every time the Messiah was explaining the time of the end he did include the Torah obviously so then it's our objective then to find this extra 90% so then we can understand further the relationship amongst the nations at the very end and we are at the restoration point at the moment so then we can further explore then revelation and then the prophecies most importantly the prophecies because from the prophecies comes then the clear understanding of the scripture in terms of revelation so then China as we understand they are going to lead the world's market and the question is whose nation then is going to take on the ability not very wise of trying to be as then the Babylonian king building up this entire statue with gold That's the main question because in every time the prophecies of Yahweh were spoken then they made a mockery out of them. You have to understand at some point some nations are going to try to outdo what Yahweh has done so far as the king of Babylon did. So then in Daniel, when he was then involved in explaining the dream of the king of Babylon, he was obviously endowed with reasoning from heaven because he had to explain what the actual dream was prior of then giving the explanation. So he had a divine source while he was explaining it. Yet... The king of Babylon tried to do on his own. Did it work? So obviously we find it did not work. It was a pure waste of time. He ended up building the entire statue of gold. And he tried then himself to be the king forever and he couldn't do it. So that's the problem and sometimes some nations they think they can be forever. Then they neglect the very reasoning of understanding of the scripture. So then from the viewpoint of Daniel he knew he had this understanding from heaven and he was honest. So at the moment we understand we are truly at the time of restoration and then the old junkies are gone. The transitional time. So then, evaluating from the viewpoint of uh, Shaliak Shaul, he was then endowed with understanding to make a transition from the first service to the second service. Was it easy for him? No, it was not. He had a whole lot more many 
obstacles to get his understanding amongst his people. Because they were so used to have those previous laws then exercised in a certain way and when they received understandings for the second tabernacle services then they hesitated. But then Shariak Shaul had to continue. Anytime there is a transitional time in the scripture people always have a tendency then to go back to the old junkies. The nation of Israel, for instance, when they left Egypt, they want to go back to their junkies. So it's a normal factor sometimes when a person is not aware of the great works of heaven having a tendency to go back to the old junkies. As people are aware of how to read the scripture, sometimes they want to read the scripture, understand what's new, and then go back to the oldies. Does it work? No, it does not. Because the future is already set. China is the leading force of the time of the end, and they are going to lead the market. There are nations they can't admit, but is that their choice or Yahweh's choice? Some kingdoms are broken, some nations are busted, and the economy ruined. Yet they're going to go forward. What basis? They have manufacturing to back them up? No. They know they don't. So why then are they spending time trying to build a statue of gold? Because their golden days are gone. There is a nation yet that hasn't even started and those are the people very chosen to do the work of the end. Please stay tuned. Much more coming up.